hello hello happy monday this morning we inoculated 75 mice with tumor cells <sighs> today is the official beginning of animal studies can you see my pimp of course you can see my pimple it's so freaking big but i feel like every time i'm doing or about to start an animal study my pimples on my chin just become so much more pronounced i don't think i'm stressed but just the concept of animal studies. My body is preparing with all the cortisol levels. <laughs> right now I'm just preparing all of my particles for the upcoming pharmacokinetic study, which is gonna start on Wednesday. On Friday I had concentrated my particles and now I'm just checking the size and about to go check the concentration of them so I can make up the solutions for the pharmacokinetic study on Wednesday. That's what I'm doing now. Let's go make this calibration curve. Don't believe <laughs> God. It is now 3.10 p.m. and I have spent the last two hours running this calibration curve because I thought that my particles were somehow super diluted this time. So I kept like running back and forth trying more concentrated samples of my particles. And then I realized that my... <laughs> The absorbance values for the, my original calibration curve, they were corrected wrong. So that's why my slope and my intercept were so off. And then that's why the absorbance values for my nanoparticle samples were freaking not in the range. They were too dark. <laughs> so like I was going to prepare the particles so that they're ready for injection for a pharmacokinetic study on Wednesday. But I just don't trust myself right now. I don't trust myself to do any kind of experiment that is like important. So I'm just gonna leave that for tomorrow. Oh my gosh. Like it's a mixture of like relief that my particles are not ridiculously like diluted. Otherwise I won't have enough for my study. But also like a lot of frustration because A, I wasted two hours and B, I wasted so many of my nanoparticle samples because I kept making more concentrated solutions of it. My brain genuinely feels so foggy today. I'm not sure what's going on. I'm not sure if it's because of like my training or if I'm just like in kind of like some kind of slump or something, but my brain just isn't, just isn't on right now. Like, like come on, Anne. You're a senior PhD and you can't even do a freaking calibration curve. That's so embarrassing, that's so embarrassing. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it's just one of those days. Let's just chalk it up to being one of those days. Oh. Anyways, so yes, for the rest of the day, I'm not gonna do any experiments because I don't trust myself. <laughs> ah. Good morning, happy when Wednesday. Gosh, there are so many things going on with like animal studies and then all these protocols and stuff and planning my animal studies and I was just oh my gosh it was just it was just too much yesterday today is the very first day of my pharmacokinetic study I have been up since 4 a.m. because I didn't sleep very well because as per usual every time I start an animal study I am stressed and <laughs> planning all of these things in my head throughout the night oh my gosh so I'm here I'm feeling tired but anxious it's just like a weird jittery feeling i'm going to go get everything sorted out cross your fingers everything goes well today <sighs> animal studies here we go all right everything is set and ready to go all of the injection time point and now we just wait for netta to come wish us luck wish us luck good morning happy thursday oh, oh, oh. I was so tired yesterday and I left so early again after the pharmacokinetic study but I'm here really early today because we have our 24 hour time point at around 9.30 and I wanted to do some preparation for my nanoparticle stuff before then I am starting to get real worried about 
having enough particles for my animals next week. We're doing so many mice and multiple doses this time, so I'm gonna have to be preparing nano particles like every week. Anyways, let's just get right to it. This is the plan for the pharmacokinetic study today. These are the time points I'm gonna collect at for the 24 hour. The big ass clock over there that tells us exactly what time it is. <laughs> And yesterday, I prepped all of the vials and tubes so they're ready to go. <laughs> Noju's still not here, so I left it in her bench. Noju, I'm borrowing your bench for now. They're all ready to go, so I can just focus on my nanoparticle preparation. According to my rough calculations, this is how many tubes I'm going to use today. <sighs> just to remind you of this process. I'm going to weigh out 32 solutions of my conjugate by weight and then 32 solutions of the buffer by weight and then nanoprecipitate drop by drop 32 that's for one dose I'm so screwed <laughs> let me show you so here's my buffer here's the tube teared here are the pipettes Hello, it is 11 a.m. We just finished the PK and I am getting ready to start the nanoprecipitation for my first set of nanoparticles, so wish me luck! so dry my arms are so dead so I'm just sitting here <laughs> looking at the size of this to breathe a little bit oh my gosh oh my gosh almost there almost there oh my god. Oh my god. finally done finally done it is 5 p.m. let me show you this is how many nanoparticle samples I measured individually but it ended up being only like one, two, three beakers with like two or three in each. But the volume is bigger than usual. I don't know if you can tell. And then I also labeled all of the tubes for tomorrow's PK study. So tomorrow's the final time point. Good morning. Happy Friday. We made it. We made it. It's Friday. Happy Friday. <laughs> Let's look at the particles from yesterday. My blood, sweat, and tears. Seriously. <laughs> they still look good though. So it's quarter to nine, and the plan is to quickly um, filter these particles, size them, prepare them for concentration, because that will take a while since there's a higher volume this time. And then at 9.30 is my last time point for the pharmacokinetic study. I also have one more experiment that I wanted to do that I started earlier this week, which was like the critical micelle concentration. I wanted to repeat one of them. So I have to measure that. And then also after I concentrate these particles, I will have to check the concentration. That is the plan today. Okay, enough chit chat. Let's get started.
I have so many batches of nanoparticles that I have to like concentrate them 15 milliliters at a time because these things they only have 15 milliliters at a time so it's gonna be a long day I think <laughs> okay okay let's let's just get right to it yeah what can you do measuring on the sizer right now. I'm preparing the calibration curve. I'm also starting to transfer that CMC experiment to a plate. I have the plate reader booked until 4. It is currently 3.25. Last stretch. Last stretch. Oh my gosh, those particles took forever to concentrate. The while they were concentrating, I actually went down to check on my mice. No tumors yet. Last stretch of Friday. Come on, let's go. Wow, so pretty. Here is plate one, and here is plate two. I'm gonna go check this. I'll check back in with you after I check this. I think it worked. I think I think both of these worked. Just looking at the raw data, I think I think it worked. Anyways, okay. I'm just gonna clean up, and then I'll wrap up this vlog properly in a bit. Hello, I just got back from my vaccination. I am fully vaccinated, yay. I was getting kind of like emotional sitting in that chair waiting for my vaccination. So incredible, so incredible that I'm fully vaccinated. I'm so grateful, I'm so grateful. Anywho, I am so tired. I don't know how many times I've said that this week, but I'm genuinely so tired. At least I finished everything that I set up to do today. The particles should be good. They're ready. The sizes look good. The concentration looks okay. I hope I have enough. This week just flew by. I'm super busy and I'm super tired, but we made it to Friday as per usual. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you later. Bye.